So I am creating Rian Keys directory. So just I created React.js directory on the desktop. Just I am opening that directory. Whenever we compare with Angular, React JS is very easy. But you people are learning this React JS for the first time, right? So that is the reason. Maybe a chance of difficult. Okay. And mainly in JavaScript, mainly in JavaScript, if you have some knowledge on functions, if you have some knowledge on functions, then it's very easy to understand. Even in, in our today's first class, I am going to discuss something about functions also. Okay. But I am going to assume that already you are having some knowledge on JavaScript functions. So, what is React? So, the first point. So, React is a JavaScript library. Why? React.js is very easy compared with Angular means React is just a library, but Angular is a framework. Okay. But right now, our main focus is on React.js. That is the reason I'm going to discuss about only what is library. What is framework? That we are going to discuss it later because we are having some React.js based frameworks called what? Next.js. So Next.js is something like what? Framework. But React.js is just a library. Now I am not bothering about any framework. My focus is right now to explain what exactly library. Okay. So React.js is just a JavaScript library. It is not a framework. Now we need to understand what is library. So a library is a collection of functions. A library is a collection of functions. Utilities or classes that we can call and use in our application to perform specific tasks. Okay, so React.js is a JavaScript library, but what is library means? A library is a collection of functions, utilities, or classes that we can call and use in our application to perform specific tasks. Okay. So simply for your understandable purpose, I can say like this. For example, in JavaScript, we know functions. In JavaScript, we know functions. So now I'm going to write a simple function here. So my function is function add. I am having two arguments and I want to do some addition for example. Okay. So we can do like this or okay. See, this is one function. Okay. In JavaScript, we need to write the function and we need to call the function. 
So both we need to do. So in JavaScript, we need to write the function and how to use that function or how to call that function. That also we need to, both we need to do in JavaScript. Okay. But in case of libraries, in case of libraries, what happens means these type of functions is already written or already provided are already available in our React. Okay. So these type of functions is already available in our React is. As a developer, we are not going to write any functions. So as a developer, we are not going to write any functions. Already these functions are available. As a developer, just we are going to call that specific function to get the functionality. Is it clear? Right? So right now, assume that, blindly assume that this function is already available in our React.js. Just as a developer, I need to remember that particular name and I'm going to call and I'm going to use it. Is it clear? Right? So whenever we are having a file which includes collection of functions, so not only one function, it is going to have what? So many functions. For example, multiplication. For example, division. Like this, so many functions already available in one specific file. That file only we are calling as what? Library. That file only we are calling as what? Library. Okay. So any doubts regarding this? A library is a collection of functions. Any doubts? No doubts. Okay. So library means it is just a collection of functions. So like this, so many functions are already available in a specific JavaScript file. We are not going to write. By default, it is available. Just we need to learn or remember those names and we need to call them. Okay. In JavaScript, everything we need to write. But in React.js, ready-madely some functions are going to be available. Just we are going to call. So that is called a library. A library is a collection of functions. So to explain this, I'm going to create one program. So today is our first class and I did not explain anything relevant to, okay, how to install React.js and all those stuff. But already in my computer, everything is there. So in upcoming classes, I'm going to show. So how to configure or how to install that React.js, everything. But already in my computer, everything is available. So just I'm going to show one simple example Okay, practical example. So how this library is going to help us and how it is going to save our time. Okay, so here what I'm going to do means I'm going to create one JS file. It can be any name. It doesn't matter. I'm calling this one as one library. It includes all the mathematical relevant functions and I'm going to use it. Okay, but to run this example, initially we need Node.js. Okay, so just I will show only that one. But React.js installation, we will show it later. Okay, so just go to Node.js website. So just we can download. But here it is showing as LTS long term support. I think that is only available here. Better to click here. So LTS stands for long term support. Right click. Open. Next. Already in my computer, Node.js, everything is already available. Just again, I reinstall. Okay, so successfully installed. 
then after that go to view terminal view terminal just click on terminal so here by default it shows some powershell just click here choose your regular command prompt so now see already we are in react js directory only okay so whatever just i want to check the version so node space hyphen v hyphen v means version so this is the version just now we installed so 20.18 so now what i'm going to do here i'm going to create mathlib.js and in that i'm going to include all these functions So this is my JS file. So in this JS file, I am going to write all the functions. So here, a function to add two numbers. So this is for addition. So right now I am creating a JS, that means library file. I am creating a JavaScript library. So these type of library files, okay, by default available in our React JS. So no need to create by our own. This is just for your understandable purpose. So this is the way only they develop all the libraries. So here a collection of functions are available. So generally, whenever we are doing any divisions, it should not divide with zero, right? In general. So that's the reason I'm going to add that condition. So whenever B equal to zero, then it should display this message. So cannot divide by zero. Fine. So finally, here I am having totally four functions. So like this, whenever we are having a collection of functions, we can call simply as library. And we need to export all these functions. So here I need to export all these functions. How we can export means module dot exports equal to I'm exporting add subtract multiply and divide. Okay. So this file is nothing but a library. Okay. Now I want to use this. So believe that these type of library files ready madely available in our React.js. Now, as a developer, we are going to have our own JS file and here I can utilize that. Okay. So as a first step, we need to import that, include that. So however, in CSS and in pure JavaScript, 
we are including some external CSS, external JS files. Same like that if you want to import any libraries. So this is the way we need to import. Okay. Equal to require. So what is the library file? Map. Okay. So here what we have, what we did here, just we included or imported. So import the math library. So if you have some minimum knowledge in our JavaScript functions, then only it is easy to understand this React James. Fine. So in our app.js file, this is my file. I am going to use this math library. So if you want to include, so this is the way we can. Include. Already in math library file, we exported all these functions. Okay, we exported all these functions. Uh, sorry here. Actually, it is module by default. It's added. Okay, whatever. So we exported all these functions. Now I want to do some functionality. That means whatever the functions I am having. So based on that, I am going to perform some arithmetic operations. So console.log. addition okay see here they were exporting all these functions for example add already i wrote the logic okay so a plus b something like that. so i'm going to utilize that so math lib so math lib refers to your library file that means it is going to refer all the functions which are available in this library. So now mathlib dot add. Okay, so five comma. So just I'll add a comment here. What I'm doing here, I'm going to call the functions from the library. So in this scenario, as a developer, just we used the functions which are available in this library. So no need to write the whole logic. So for example, I want to execute or I, I want to call the function with different values. No problem. So 10, 20. So just we are reusing. That's it. Okay. Our regular functions concept. Only. So whatever to execute this node space. This is our main file, app.js file. So now in this scenario, 5 plus 3, 8. In this scenario, 10 plus 20, 30. So this is the way we are going to call the functions from the library. So here, subtraction. And here, multiplication so just have that function subtract multiply and division so this example is just to understand what is like so here we got the result as well. Okay, fine. So I created a library file. Right now, just for your understandable purpose, I created this library file. In general, these libraries are ready madely available in our React.js. Just we need to include that library file and just we need to call those functions from the math library. So this is the way we are going to work. Is it clear? Okay. So in this library file, we'll be having so many functions, so many predefined functions. That means already written functions. 
just we need to remember and we need to use that's it this is the way so i think you understood a library is something like what a collection of functions so here i explained about collection of functions okay and even i used another word called utilities okay what is the meaning of utilities even utilities also something like functions so utilities also something like what functions only but i am going to elaborate even to understand better so differences or difference between functions and utilities So, what is the definition? React JS is a library, JavaScript library. What is the definition for library? A library is a collection of functions, utilities, or classes. Okay. Right now, just I showed collection of functions means how it looks like. Even we need to understand utilities also. Okay. So now functions. So it's very simple. Any block of code that performs a specific task so functions we know see right now this is one function this is my block of code block means nothing whatever uh, the code that we are going to write or available inside the curly braces inside the curly braces we used to call this one as a block okay so a, any block of code that performs a specific code uh, sorry, a specific task. So right now, here some block of code is there. It is performing some task, some specific task. What is the task doing some addition? Here, what is the task? Subtraction, multiplication, like that. So that is the simple definition for functions. Next, what is utilities? Utilities also something like functions only. Okay, now a simple definition for this. A subset of functions that handle small repeated and some generic tasks. Okay, so here we need to understand what is this subset, what is the meaning of this subset. If you are able to understand what is the meaning of subset, then you can understand easily about it. Okay, so I'll write a simple explanation about the subset. Subset means utilities are part of the larger group of functions, but they focus on a specific type of task so utilities are still functions okay fine so you got the classification i believe but see explanation part see here i am having collection of functions Whenever we are having collection of functions like add, subtract, multiply, divide, whatever, collection of functions means library, right? Okay. Subset of functions means, see, subset means utilities are part of larger group of functions. See, library means collection of functions, right? Subset means part of the larger group of functions. See here. I am having a larger group of functions. Add, subtract, multiply, divide. Right? Larger group of functions. Each and individual function, we can call it as what? Utilities. Is it clear, right? Library means collection of functions. Each and individual function, we can call it as what? Utilities. Each and every individual function, we are calling as what? Utilities. So, this function is doing some addition. This function is doing some subtraction. Each and individual function we are calling as what? Utility. Is it clear, right? Okay.
Okay, so I think you understood about utilities. Okay, see, I am having collection of functions. In this, each and individual function we are calling as what? Utilities. Okay, but the definition is subset of function. See, in general, in mathematics, we are having a subset. Subset means here all the functions are available. Okay, collection of functions are available in that individual functions are nothing but subset okay we are having so many functions individual function we can call it as what simply a subset okay see i am having for example see a 1 4 5 6 7 so simply i am having some numbers right now i am going to have a b 4, 8, okay, 4, uh, 7, for example. See, in A, I am having all numbers. In A, I am having all numbers. In B, I am having 4 and 7. Then what happens? Okay, then what we can call this one? So, this B is something like what? A subset of A. Whatever we are having in A, in that specifically 4 and 7 is already existing in A. That means B is subset to this a is it clear okay fine so this example whether you understand or not it doesn't matter but here we are having so many functions collection of functions that is called library each and individual function we are calling as what utility other than this nothing okay fine so as usual all these individual functions okay together make up the library Okay, fine. So, I think you understood about all this stuff. Even I am writing some utility functions also. Whatever, as per our example. So, the utility functions are add, subtract, multiply, divide, all these are all what? Utility functions. So, first, roughly, first 10 classes may be a chance of difficulty. After that, subject is dead easy. Angular, it's complete difficult subject. Compare with the engines. Or a subset of the entire collection of functions. because they serve so specific simpler tasks that are generally reusable See, once if we have some functions, how many times we want, we can, okay, reuse. For example, again, here, I added, that means I use that add function, again I reuse. How many times you want, you can reuse. So, right now, just I created only one app.js file. Like this, you can create how many JS files you want and you can utilize or reuse that function. Okay, so I think you understood about collection of functions or collection of functions, even utilities. Okay, even we need to understand about classes also. Even classes also the same concept. So we'll be having so many uh, functionalities or class-based syntaxes in one specific file. For example, here we'll be having all the class-based syntaxes. In our app.js file, we are going to use them. But here, we need to know one very, very important point before explaining about classes. See, the definition is something like this. Functions, utilities, or classes. It is not like end. End means it's combination. We need functions, utilities, even classes, everything we need. But here my definition is or. Or means anyone. It can be function, utilities or classes anyone not like combination okay but here i want to give one more important point here 
okay in our react js in our react js we are going to work with only functions in react js we need to work with only functions not classes even if you don't know anything about object oriented programming system nothing but oops concepts also no problem so because to learn react js no need to learn any oops concepts class based however we are going to have in c++ java .net something like that no need to learn any classes you need to remember that point because react js is purely based on functions not classes okay so but in react js functions are available classes are available both are available but in companies we are going to use only functions even for this there is a technical reason also actually they released a concept called hooks okay whenever they released hooks concept from there on out they stopped using classes so i will explain it later about okay so react js means believe that only functions but even classes also is there that is something like outdated whenever they released hooks concepts in react js so no that hook supports only functions not classes okay but angular is not like that. angular is purely what class based that is the reason only from first hand notes i am telling to you that angular is difficult compared with react js because react js is just functions classes but here i need to give some clarification i need to show one example so that is the reason i will type some code based on the classes okay in ecms script so already videos were there in our portal so there i explained about class based examples okay suppose some people joined both angular as well as react js in our institute for those people they need classes okay fine so whatever so i'll show one another simple example okay however here collection of functions same like that we'll be having what collection of some classes okay so right now even if you don't have anything about this uh, class also no problem don't bother it okay so here i am going to create one file if you are not going to understand about this one also no issues don't bother about this i am going to use the same js file but here separate js file for the classes so user lib.js so here user yeah, lib means nothing but library okay here i am going to create a simple library with a class if you are not going to understand this program don't bother about that so let's say you did not understand anything about the class syntaxes don't bother because for react js people no need of any classes only functions are so because of uh, this is one of the reason why react is easy compared with angular okay so i am writing some class syntax so this is my class name class name should always starts with upper case constructor so here see uh, just a comparison let's assume that you don't have anything of any knowledge about classes so just a comparison see however we are having arguments right a b so here a means 5 b means 3 same like that here name and which other than this nothing is there. this dot name here i am having two properties one is name and this dot h so here property property is something like a variable however we are storing right x equal to 10 something like that this is our property these are all our arguments okay to avoid confusion you can write like this no problem sorry okay so see here these are all our arguments so whenever we are using this class name user at that time so we'll be having name let's say name shiva okay age some 40 or 50 or something like that so that 
name Shiva, it is going to store in username. And whatever the age 40 we are going to have, that is going to store in this user age. Okay, fine. So don't confuse. So here my property is what? User's name. So property is something like storing, similar to our variables. Okay. Okay, fine. So whatever we are having here, this dot something properties. Okay, yeah, you can place the cursor to see that. Okay, fine. So then afterwards, I'm going to have some method. In JavaScript, however, we are having function, function name, right? Same like that. Okay, here also we'll be having some functions. But inside the class, if you write any functions, simply we used to call it as what? Methods. I believe most of the people, that means those who completed uh, watching ECMS videos in that object oriented concepts, class concepts I explained. So already if you have knowledge on that, then this is not. Okay. Even I explained about this back tick songs. Okay. In, the, in our ECMS. Even if you don't have knowledge also, no problem. Okay. So dollar this dot name. age dollar this dot h so this is one method see generally it is a function inside the function sorry inside the class if you are writing any function simply we are calling as method that's it just i'm comparing because already we know about functions right just i'm comparing okay method to check if the user is an adult so as usual, if the age is 18 above, okay, then uh, we can consider as adult. So this is also another function, nothing but method. Just I want to return true or false. I am writing a condition here. So whenever we are having some code like this, okay, it is something like what? A condition. Finally, it is going to return true or false based on our user. So now, as usual, I want to export this. Export the user class. Class name always should start with capital M. It's very important. It's predefined. User class as part of the method. However, we export it in function module.export. Same like that here also. I am exporting a class name. User. Okay, so here what we are doing, okay, just we'll be having some name and age in our uh, our own file, app.js file. So based on that, if I'm going to use this method or call this method, it is going to display name and age. Suppose if I'm going to check with this, it is going to return because it's a condition, right? So if it is 18 or more means, it is going to return true, otherwise false. So finally, I'm having a library file with classes okay only one class only I know. like this how many classes you want you can write so for example here so many functions right same like that you can work with so many classes so here only i am going to have that that means use that library user library so whatever see here so in my app.js file using the user class from the library as usual first step is what we need to import that library as usual however we imported our function library file same like that here also what is that file name user lib.js how here this is just a variable okay so you can have anything i wrote user one generally okay in case of object oriented concepts if you want to create anything okay so actually what happened means uh it went here in the order generally whenever we are including any external files you will be writing how on top most we'll have all these things so automatically it is updated here don't bother about it. okay so new user I am going to, I wrote some name, 
L is 25. So, name. What is the name? L is. What is the age here? 25. Okay, fine. So, now I want to use this or call these methods. How I can call? It's very simple. So, I am going to write here call. If you are able to understand, okay. Otherwise, leave it. Don't bother about this. For React people, no need of classes. User one dot. What is the method? Get user details. So get user details means what is the output here? What is the output? Name. This dot name means Alice. This dot age means 20. Next, I want to check the condition user one dot is adult as usual i mentioned that if it is 18 or above it is going to check this condition it will return true or false okay so whatever now in this scenario we are going to get the output as name alice age 20 and here output what is the output we are going to get 18 or more right so that's the reason we are going to get the output as true okay so let's check it console.log means we can see the output in this term okay node app.js See, we got Alice age 25 because get user details means we will get the name age. So, in this case, we are going to get true. Okay. So, next, as usual, we already know, right? So, library means we can reuse. So, here, the same thing one more time. So if you want to create any object based on the class name, this is the way. New space class name. What is the class name user? And obviously see, at the time of creating the object, automatically it is going to call this constructor method. Already I explained about what is class, uh, how to define class, how to write the methods, what is constructor method. Already I explained in ECMA script class based object oriented concepts. Please refer that. Suppose if you want. If you, if you want some knowledge okay so actually constructor is a method at the time of creating the object this is the way we are going to create what object whenever we are going to create any object automatically okay it is going to call this method that is the reason only new space user here i wrote something alice as well as 25 right by default okay it is going to refer this constructor method only that's the reason only name is Alice, age is 25. Okay, the same thing. No need of any point here. Just so one more time. So this time I'm going to call it as user 2 Bob make it 16 less than 18. Less than 18 here. That's the reason. In this case, as usual, name we are going to get as Bob age. 16 in this scenario less than 18 right we are going to get false control s to save actually we got true here why i missed that okay fine if you are able to understand okay otherwise leave okay fine i think you got some clarification about what exactly like okay fine so here i want to give another simple clarification it's very very important especially whenever we are working with uh, working in real time here i used a name called alice okay 
So what is the clarification I want to give means? For example, see, let's say, uh, actually it's a professional word. In companies, in companies, let's say, uh, we are having a Facebook application, for example. So in Facebook application, so many users, so many, let's say I am having Facebook app. You are having a Facebook account. We all are having Facebook accounts, right? Okay, that means simply we can call it as what? Users. But we all are having some individual names. So I am Shiva. So you will be, your name will be Ajay, Vijay, whatever, right? So we all are having different, different names. But in general terminology, in general terminology, in companies, instead of using a word called user, just they were going to use a name called Alice. For example, Alice is registering. So that means instead of calling as user is registering or creating some, okay. So Alice is creating account or created account in our application, for example. So instead of calling as, instead of calling as Shiva created some account or user created some account, okay. Just they are going to use a name word called a name called Alice, just to refer user, just to refer user. In companies, it's frequently used the word. So why I'm highlighting this one means whenever I joined in company as a fresher, uh, whenever they, they were assigning any tickets or tasks, okay, each and every time I saw this name called Alice, 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 Alice. Okay, I thought, I, I, I don't know what exactly the meaning of Alice, but actually Alice is something like what? In general, instead of uh, calling its names or a user or something, just they were going to call it as, okay. So in this, up to now, what we discussed means, So it is just a library. React.js is just a what? A JavaScript library. And after that, I explained about functions, collections, as well as classes. Okay. Actually, uh, this definition is not yet completed. Just, okay. Now, I am extending this definition. So React is a JavaScript library developed by Facebook. So React JS or React C. I am not calling as React JS also. I am calling as React. Okay. Why means in case of React, we can work with JavaScript. Even we can work with what? TypeScript. So that is the reason I am not calling as React JS. Okay. Simply just I am calling as React. Okay. Fine. So whatever. React is a JavaScript library developed by Facebook for building fast interactive, already in JavaScript you know about what is the meaning of interactive, user interfaces, user interface means what, whatever we are seeing in our browser, whatever we are seeing in our browser, okay, some dynamic content. Let's say time. Time means definitely frequently some changes, some updates will be there. Okay. Some uh, interactive user interfaces. In that, the best example is what? Single page applications. So whenever they started or they developed this React, React or React.js or React TypeScript or whatever. Okay. Mainly their focus is on single page applications. Simply we can call it as SPA. Okay. So now we need to understand what is a single page. Okay. So it's a definition is not completed actually. Okay. Library means I explained, but still, okay. Some other continuation part. Is there. So now we need to understand what is a single page application. So this will cover in tomorrow's case. Okay.